So we're going to look at the condyles and epicondyles of the femur. So the femur is the longest and strongest bone in the body. And its lower end, so its distal end, is really important for forming the knee joint. Now, two important features at the distal end of the femur are the condyles and the epicondyles, which play essential roles in knee movement and stability. So let's start by looking at the condyles of the femur. So the condyles are the rounded, smooth projections at the distal, so the lower end of the femur. They're covered with articular cartilage, allowing them to move smoothly against the tibia and patella during knee movement. Now there are two condyles, the medial condyle, which is located on the inner side of the femur, and it articulates with the medial tibial plateau of the tibia, and is larger than the lateral condyle to support more of the body's weight as the center of gravity is closer to the medial side. It plays a really important role in weight bearing and knee stability. Then we have the lateral condyle, which is found on the outer side of the femur. It articulates with the lateral tibial plateau of the tibia. Although smaller than the medial condyle, the lateral condyle is vital for knee movement, especially in activities involving lateral or rotational motion, such as changing direction while running. Now, the condyles help form the tibial femoral joint, which is part of the knee joint. Together with the menisci, so the cartilage discs between the femur and the tibia, they allow for smooth flexion and extension of the knee. So let's look at the epicondyles of the femur. So the epicondyles are bony prominences located just above the condyles, and they serve as attachment points for ligaments and muscles, playing an essential role in stabilising the knee joint. Like the condyles, there are two epicondyles. We have the medial epicondyle situated above the medial condyle, and it is the attachment site for the medial collateral ligaments at the MCL, which helps prevent the knee from collapsing inwards. It also serves as an attachment uh, point for muscles involved in knee movements, including part of the adductor magnus muscle. Then we have the lateral epicondyle positioned above the lateral condyle, it is the attachment point for the lateral collateral ligament, LCL, which helps prevent the knee from collapsing outwards. Now, the lateral epicondyle is also an attachment point for the iliotibial band, so the IT band, which provides additional lateral stability to the knee. So let's talk about the functional importance of condyles and epicondyles. So the condyles provide the surface for the knee joint movement, allowing the femur to glide over the tibia and ensuring smooth knee flexion and extension. The epicondyles, on the other hand, serve as key attachment points for the ligaments that stabilize the knee joint, preventing excessive movement and maintaining joint integrity during dynamic activities. 